Good morning friends, my name is Radh Bedi from the Chitkara School of Hospitality and today we are going to talk about a new worldwide country which is India. Alcohol has been a part of Indian history since various generations but wine cultivation has started in our country over the last few decades and has become very very popular. We will be talking about a brief history about Indian wines, various brands moving forward. As mentioned earlier, Today, I am going to talk about the famous regions of India, the viticulture being done in our country, the grapes which are used for wine cultivation, the various wine laws and the famous brands which are becoming very popular worldwide from India. Talking about the famous regions of India, the first region that comes to our mind for wine cultivation happens to be Nasik which can also be called as the wine capital of India. Various famous wineries are associated with this particular place and they have their base in Nasik for various generations. Next moving on in Maharashtra we have Sangli Valley which is nearby Nasik. Then we move down south and we go down to Bangalore where new wines are also coming into the picture and also new vineyards are being made by people who had already existing vineyards. Then in the end we move on to the picturesque state of Himachal Pradesh which is famous for its national beauty plus for its fruits which is leading to an innovation of making wines from various types of fruits like plums and pears which can be termed as fruit wines. The first region that I am going to talk about today happens to be Nasik. This is located in the state of Maharashtra. The regions include Pune, Nasik and Ahmednagar. The average height above sea level happens to be 800 meters. Several top wineries as I mentioned earlier are located in this particular region. A few examples of those particular wineries would be Chateau Indaj and Sula wines. The next region I am going to talk about is Sangli region which is also located in Maharashtra. The average height of this region is around 750 meters above sea level. This region includes places like Solapur, Sangli, Satara and Latur. Moving on to down south, we reach the state of Bangalore where near the Lundi Hills which are around 45 kilometers north of Bangalore city, we have famous vineyards which are used for wine making. Grover Vineyards, which is about 800 meters above sea level, happens to be a famous vineyard from this area. The last famous region and an upcoming region in India happens to be the Himachal Pradesh region, which is located in northern India. It is an upcoming state for wines in our country. The temperatures vary from 20 degree to 40 degree Celsius. The unique climate of the region and the fruits that are grown there attracts the winemakers to produce delicate wines in this area. As we all are aware, viticulture happens to be the activity of growing and harvesting grapes. Wine of grapes are actually trained as bamboo and are used with a wire to create a paragola in order to increase canopy cover and also to keep the grapes off the ground where they are more prone to fungal diseases. This is a practice which is followed by almost all the vineyards in the world that the wine grape is not allowed to touch the ground in order to avoid infection by insects, rodents. Plus in our own country, India, we use irrigation but since the 1980s, drip irrigation has been used in order for making wines. The tropical conditions of the country help us in getting high yields. Harvest is usually done during the month of November and is done by the traditional hand method. The grapes that are used in our country, we could say that India has various indigenous grape varieties which are used in wine production like the Anabishahi, Akravati and Arkasham. Popular non-grape varieties which are not native to India include the Bangalore Blue and the Gulabi which are also called as Isabella and Black Musker respectively. The Turkish grape Sultana is the most widely planted grape in India and covers around 
thousand hectares in our country. In addition, there are various imported French varieties which Chateau in that planted, which was Savino Blanc, Zinfandel, Chenin Blanc, and Clariot have also helped and started to establish a presence in the Indian wine industry. If I talk about the Indian wine laws, the name and type of the material, the amount of alcohol in the bottle, in percentage or in volume, the batch or code number, month and year of packaging, in the year the wine was made, name and address of the producer in detail, net volume in milliliters like 750 is the general recommendation and the region, the geographical region from where the grapes are produced are mentioned on the bottles in India. Talking about the various famous winemakers of our country, we have Indals which is based in Pune, we have Grover Vineyards based in Bangalore, Sula based in Nasik, Renaissance Wines which are also based in Nasik, Andy Wines another vineyard from Nasik, then we have Mandala Valley in Solapo, then we have Flamingo Wines from Nasik and in the end we have Vinicola from Goa. So you can see that it is dominated due in the lower part of our country from Maharashtra into Bangalore and then we move on to Goa. To name a few famous brands, first we have red wines in which we have Syria, Galaxy, Satori Merlot, Cabernet Shiraz, La Reserve. For white wines we have Salia Ruo, Et Tu Brutus, Marc Anthony. Then for rosé wines we have Shiraz Rosé, Margaras Rosé, Sula Blas Zinfandel and for sparkling wines which are also called as champagne we have Sula Brut and Sula Seco which happen to be very famous champagnes from our own country. So thank you so much guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and also post your comments in the chat box. In the next video, we will be talking about new world wines. Thank you.